I'm in my sister's house and uh, welcome to cooking anything I can find at my sister's house, which is not going to be much. I originally pulled these pants all the way up like this thinking it was super hilarious. I was like, I'm such a goofball. Like, look at my pants, they're so hot. But now I'm like, wait a minute. I'm either a style icon, or this is how they were supposed to be worn the whole time, right? Like, what is, what is this? This is like a high-waisted, I don't know what it is. It feels great on my belly. I'm ready to put things into it. Let's see how we do. First thing I found is a a twirl, swirly twirly French cinnamon pastry. Um, this was in the pantry. It was in a bag that was just like Fancy, it looked like it came from like a fancy wood shop that sold like oatmeal cookies at the register and like these weird fancy pastries. Maybe a cafe. They should sell pastries at wood shops. Maybe the ladies would want to go in there sometimes, all right? Maybe if you put some cookies at the cash register of Home Depot, you might get to be graced with this, all right? called Skinny Pop. It's popcorn, but like the skinny kind. It tastes like paper, but like with less flavor than paper has. I mean, first of all, why would you, she has a whole bag, like a Costco size bag, or mini bags of these. I don't know why you would just want to be eating paper all day. Like, I'll, I, I'll take thick thighs instead, thanks. I'll take the butter and all the chemicals from Orville Redenbacher or whatever. Get real food in your house or fake food that isn't targeted to this demographic of housewives watching I need a break just from trying to find food in this house. Morning Star egg and cheese. I'm probably gonna need about six of these. Like, why don't, like, just keep snacks in your house, ho? Good. Oh, wait, how do I do this? Where are the directions? Oh. Bless. Whoa. <sighs> Keegan should be supervised. I'm not really into when boxes are like, <clears throat> do it in these steps. Put it on for this amount of time, but also watch it the whole time. Bitch, I don't want to watch this thing cook and be by it. It's bad enough I'm getting radiation up in my eyeballs and shit. Place the sandwich on top of a folded paper towel. It looks like a really specific microwave safe plate. So what's that mean, like my dog's back? How come you're never in the shop? I can't, I can't get him to cooperate. Child actors, am I right? Yeah, blue, I'm talking about you, right? It's like, it's like check your privilege, you know? He's such a millennial. I was talking about the debates, but it's just like I can't be bothered to even like participate in the illusion of a rat race that isn't really happening. But we're all being tricked into thinking, I don't know. I put it on for two minutes, but I'm gonna watch venomously as instructed. I cut all my hair off. Did you know that? It used to be a little longer. It was real gross looking at the bottom. I mean, but I really liked my long, I hope it grows back long and luxurious, but I'm kind of digging, I just hacked it. I hacked away at it. Okay. And I know that's like, like some season two finale girls type shit. I know, 
okay? But whatever, I used to be a receptionist at Super Cuts. Like I think I know how to cut here. I cut my friend, my Lee's hair in the bathroom in sixth grade at school. And I was like, my sister works at Super Cuts. So it's like I'm basically a hairstylist. I also cut my own bangs. I started cutting my bangs when I was like three. I just remember like looking in the mirror, cutting them all off and being like, mmm, beautiful. I remember doing that and then walking out and my mom was watching a soap opera with my sister. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh no, what did I just do? And Oh my god, I never even put anything in the microwave. Fuck! I just microwaved nothing. Okay, do, do, you, see, do you see what I've done? You're gonna wanna do that. Uh, that's actually a step that you're gonna wanna take before following the directions because you wanna heat up the microwave a little bit. I just heated nothing up. That wasn't planned. I wish it was. I wish I was smart enough to write this out ahead of time because that would be boku good, right? The salon environments are terrible though. The only people I will let cut my hair <laughs> is um, Tiny Ken, what's up? Shout out my gay couple hairdresser friends who are punk as fuck, live in my neighborhood, and will come over and like, let my hair and let me smooth them out. Why did I not do that? Right? But you're wondering, why why do you just keep cutting your own hair if you have dudes that will come over and chill with you? Snip snip. Bruh, I don't know. I just was like, this is dead on time. I just I I worked at supercuts when I was 14, okay? I know how to cut my own hair. I don't, but I don't like to be in the salon. I keep saying that like it's an excuse. I should have just been like, yeah. What's up? Like, I don't even have that excuse. Salons are terrible environments, though. It's like the most gossipiest, bullshittingest, like, judge you for your split ends. And always trying to outdo the other. Like, hairstylists are always trying to, like, one up each other and be like, oh my god, look how terrible your hair is. Who did it last? They're always, like, ready to shame another stylist. Like, y'all bitches, it's crazy. This time I actually did it. This looks dry as hell. So nasty. I cannot believe this is considered food. Ugh. Even the smell of a fake egg. And it's just like a vegan. It's morning star, so it's probably like hella fake. All right, we need hella catch. I don't even know if ketchup can save this. Like this is. Hotter than I thought it would be. I mean, I anticipated it to be gross, but that shit. I'm doing this for you, America. Nope. Mm -mm. Nast as hell. Let's see what else she has. All right, like a Boca. Original chicken veggie patty. Okay. These look like fake sausage patties. Whatever. Just when I thought I found something numb, I was like, yeah, friggin' something, ice cream, frozen yogurt, something. Can you read that as it's upside down? Oh. Strawberry. And it's like at the bottom. No thanks. Alright, so there's patties with no bread. Unless she's gonna be like, there's Ezekiel bread in the freezer, which no, there's not. I just looked. Or maybe it's enough bread. Lucifer! Oh my god! I guess it's cool because I am like forced into a diet. Like if you're gonna be at my house watching my dogs for me, you're gonna eat clean. Except it's not. It's like aspartame jungle. 
Nothing is with real sugar in it. That's, I mean, it's alright. How are you gonna run a million miles a day and then just live off of skinny girl popcorn or whatever? Yeah! I'm gonna pass out like DJ Tanner. Remember? She was on the exercise bike and she didn't eat for like however many days. And she was like, I'm too chubby. I'm gonna keep working out and never eating. And then Danny Tanner was like, DJ, what's wrong? And she was like, Dang! Don't mind that. Probably it fell. I haven't seen it since it was like new. I'm pretty sure that happened. I have a really good memory for TV, just not for things in my own life. Looking for things like olive oil or vinegar. <laughs> I just keep finding like vodka. All right, I'm gonna fry it up on the pan. May as well, right? It's like, never. Here it is. So I guess the ladies of The View made fun of nurses or whatever. I didn't read the story. From what I gather, there was a pageant. It's like pageant, nurse, stethoscope, Joy Behar probably like cackling. I don't know why a stethoscope is supposed to be funny though. Like, is it because those are usually just for doctors? I mean, do nurses not hold stethoscopes? What I think is funny is that nurses around the world got so offended. I mean, I didn't see what they said. Maybe they were really offended, but I can't imagine like, Taking anything Joy Behar says seriously enough to be like, how dare you do it? Like, so I guess nurses around the world like banded together and like got the, like took away a bunch of sponsors and like they're trying to get the view off. And it's like, that is so typical of nurses. Am I right? Like, they're so like, uh, uh uh, you're not gonna not appreciate me. Okay, like they're about to like sit your ass down and make you wait in line for like another like four hours. I just flipped them with my hands. Not a great idea. I guess whenever I think of nurses now, I just always think of Amy Schumer's sketch where there's like a view like talk show, <laughs> but they're all bitchy nurses. <laughs> they're all just like, Wait your turn, please. Or, like, it's weird how that parallels in such a way, like, it's like, what is the effect called when, like, the fact that Amy created that and put it out to the world, and then something that sort of mirrors that entire experience happens IRL, like, a few, like, months later or whatever. Like, it's like, every time I see anything about Donald Trump, I'm like, next. Oh, I saw something where it was like, Madonna's thinking about running for president. It's like, you can stop psyching people out and making it look like people might vote for him or that's like a possibility or that voting has anything to do with anything. Like, come on. I think like your vote really counts. I'm sorry, but you guys know. You guys know the lizards be buying them elections and shit. We just got a law passed saying dead people can't vote. Like, there's so many ways to buy the system and to, y'all, like, just stay in your homes. All right, don't ever go out and look at sunlight. They're trying to trick you into believing in America. <sighs> Shade. You know I like how catch. I mean, this is literally like the most provocative spice slash. Is it fat free? Oh, surprise, surprise! It's not fat free or sugar free. It's like the most dangerous food in her house right now. It's ketchup. I'm kidding. It's the skinny pop. Like, what is in there to make it no 
calorie net. I mean, it's not, it's paper. You're eating paper when you eat that. Eating Boca, eating Boca products on a paper plate. Brain. What a minute, I'm gonna try one after I'm making it. Oh, I wish so bad. I would beg my mom to take me to auditions. It was like, please, I have to go. I want to be just like Christina Ricci. So bad. Well, this is disgusting. I think how this is like breaded tofu or just garbage. But it's like buying fake meat is so much more expensive to live off of than just eating real meat. Bye! Can I give people shit about factory farms and unethical growing? Find out how your vegetables are grown, bitch. Look, children, like, starving families for pennies a day or whatever. It's, it's like not bringing on any of the side, but we're all part of a human slavery pyramid. Like, I can't afford to not buy things that are made from children in another part of the world that I don't have to see. And the people who can, like own those companies and own those people. Oh, this is not cooked all the way. Which I guess is okay because it's not real meat. Okay, okay, I'll see how you work. It can be cold on the inside, it's fine. Cause it's like beans or something, right? What is this, like soy product? And what soy, right? Eating fake meat without me. Ugh. Sausages did not get cooked all the way. But it's okay. Because it's not real sausage. Ooh. That was a horrible noise that came out of my mouth. It was like an armpit fart noise, but with my tongue. Thank you for stopping by to cooking anything that I could find in my sister's house. It was a doozy, but we did it. We managed it, huh, Bruce? Huh, Bruce? Her breath smells like a rotten fish. You make me sick. You are such a junky toad. But I love you and me. You know what this has been. This has been real fun. Okay, you better come back. You better come back next time. Okay. I might even make real food. I might find real food. I might eat this one right here. I might have to put him in a pot of stew. I might have to put him in a pot in a little crock pot. Yeah. You are so sickening. Alright. Um, we're outie. Okay.